Hello friends, welcome to Pebbles e-learning series. In this, today we are going to start the geometry of SSE Maharashtra board, the chapter 1 similarity. Now before starting this chapter, let me remind you, every one of you must have watched my lecture on the orientation. That is the first lecture was there of orientation. In that lecture, I have explained how to study. That means how will you study all the subjects. Here uh, we are taught only science and maths. But for all the subjects, how you are going to study, how you should study, that I have explained. So I hope everybody have watched that uh, lecture, orientation lecture. And if anybody of you have not yet watched that lecture, I will request you to please watch that lecture. Because there I have given the 10 points which are very important for your exam, for your SSC exam. These points are not only important for your SSC exam, I will say, but they are important for all kinds of exams. Maybe in your 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th or for the higher studies. Because myself I have studied by that method till engineering, engineering end. And I have always topped the college and university. So those tips will be helpful for you. So those who have not watched yet that lecture, I request you please watch that lecture thoroughly. Take your notes and get ready for learning chapter 1 similarity of geometry. Now what do you mean by similarity? Okay, we say that two faces are similar. We say that this car is similar to this car. What do you mean by that? We have learned the congruent figures. Now let us talk about the geometry. Okay, we have learned in the 8th 9th standard about the congruency. What was there in congruency? Suppose two triangles are there and all the angles are equal all the sides are equal then we said that both the triangles or both the figures are congruent okay but suppose the angles are same but the length of sides are different that means those figures are looking alike they are looking same but they are not congruent in that case we call them as a similar figure for example right from the first standard you must have come across the pencils okay there are different length of pencils are available in market okay one is the longer pencil and the same replica is the shorter pencil both the pencil look alike same but the length is different all other things are same exactly replica but the length is different then I can say these two pencils are similar pencils those are not exactly same but they are look exactly alike so those are the similar figures so we are going to learn similarity in this chapter but in this chapter there is not only similarity there are lot many other things are also there that means there are some ratios are there areas of triangles are there many things uh, Pythagoras theorem is there Apollonius theorem is there many things are there along with the similarity and we have to learn all that today now let me tell you again one thing this chapter is the simplest chapter of your geometry but always remember on the simplest chapter on the very when the chapter is very very simple generally the difficult examples come in exam and when the chapter is difficult to understand it is a difficult chapter generally this is not a hard and fast rule I am telling you again but generally little bit easy pro, easy problems comes on that chapter so even though this chapter is very easy do not neglect it okay because it is very important you can grab full marks in this chapter so let us start with the similarity chapter before going to the similarity we have to learn something else regarding triangles and ratios and areas so let us start with the areas ratios of areas of triangle so right now we are going to learn the property of the ratios of areas of two triangles we are going to learn ratios of areas of triangle in the very simple manner it is area 
suppose a1 is the area of one triangle and a2 is the area of another triangle so the ratio of areas of triangle is equal to ratio of product product means multiplication ratio of product of their base and corresponding heights so in simple words i can write that a1 upon a2 is equal to base b1 and height h1 upon b2 into h2 this is the simple formula for finding out the ratios of areas of two triangles okay now in your book there are many conditions two three conditions are there what is the ratio when the base is common what is the ratio when the height is common what is the ratio when the base and height both are common i mean both are same so in that case many students by heart all those three properties and plus one that is four four properties they by heart but is it required it is by the formula itself it is very very common and simple that if b1 is equal to b2 that means if the base is common then obviously they will get cancelled and then the ratio of areas of triangle is, is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights isn't it this is just written in the words in the book with the help of different figures but you just remember that the ratio of areas of triangle is is equal to the ratio of product of their base and height that's enough now the triangle can be isosceles triangle equilateral triangle obtuse angle triangle acute angle triangle right angle triangle anything can be there okay because you are well versed with the concept of triangle so you can definitely decide the base and height of those triangles this is very simple so you don't actually buy hard things that what will be the ratio when the base is common or the base is same or what is the ratio when the height is common or height is same you don't have to buy hard those things so when the base is common then the area ratio of areas of triangle is equal to ratio of their corresponding heights suppose height is common height is same then the ratio will be equal to ratio of their bases and when the base and height both are same in that case what will happen in that case the ratio will be obviously one because both will get both will get cancelled or neutralized and the ratio will be equal to one the problems based on this are given in your exercise 1.1 and we are going to solve the exercise 1.1 in this case i don't think uh, the trial or the sample examples are required in this case because the property is very very straightforward and very very common okay just remember that you have to find out anyhow the base and the height or you have to decide whether the base or the height or both are common in particular figure or not so i think we should directly go to the exercise 1.1 in this case so let us go for exercise 1.1 thank you very much